Yo, 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 what's happening guys? Metaverse Melon here, how are we all today? We're back with another video. We're currently in LA right now. We're actually looking through everything what's going on and totems are out in 10 minutes as well. So we're going to jump onto that, film that kind of all the way through. So once they get released, uh, we've also got a totem, a prodem, sorry. So we've got 555 here as we actually bought one totem. I didn't want to get any more because... I don't know how this is going to go, like, I don't want to be up all night trying to feed it and stuff. I don't think you will have to, but, yeah, if that kind of, like, you get the sweet spot and it's, like, 4 a.m. for me, as I'm in the UK, so this is coming up to, like, 5 p.m. right now, 10 to, uh, so hopefully I've got the right time. It's eight hours after uh, Pacific time, so GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, is, like, the UK, uh, so hopefully I've got the right time and we can actually film this video. If I actually go into assets as well, we've actually got it under... Uh, map assets and then I can just go into the totem here and then you can see this is the totem and then if I click here and then I guess I just spend prodem I don't know how much I need to spend that's what I mean uh, do I put it all on <laughs> like uh, we don't know actually how much we're going to spend so we'll actually go and have a look at um, it once it all gets released and stuff so looking forward to that also been heavy treasure hunting today as well didn't get any more spark but we had up at 2.48 now which is amazing and we've also got the account coming up to like 9.2 million uh, which is amazing 1031 properties and then with tycoon as well we've actually got that up to 124,000 now 453 upex uh, every day we're getting about 15,000 on average uh, by tomorrow we should get out to 140,000 and then be able to uh, just keep growing that looking at some like different um kind of live listings for my properties and other stuff in the game and then also like collecting some opex off the extra spark and then we'll continue just to build as well i don't believe in like taking the money out of the game so i know i'm just like buying the resources uh collecting them and selling them but i believe in the long run on the market i did see that they want the energy to drop to 100 opex and then or um, lumber and or to 10 up packs and then like that will obviously help smaller players get into the game but if smaller players can get the amount of loot they can at the moment it's a way they can actually start building nodes and get into the game as well and i just like to see the market really strong as well like um I don't know what will happen if like the market start to drop to that price as well. Will it be good? Will it be bad? Uh, we'll find out. But right now, obviously, like the earnings are amazing, and then they're coming out with new nodes and stuff like the iron ore mill and stuff where you have to like burn it down and stuff. So uh, that'll be really cool to see. And actually, where energy goes, there should be a new resource out, like maybe a medium and a large factory, like a windmill and like the ore mines. So uh, it'll cost like a hundred energy to build. So that'll take a lot of energy off the market, and then that'll be really awesome. To to see energy going up because right now uh, you can see it's down at 919 you know you can buy energy for so this will continue to go down but soon as they release a new node on the nodes like they've got new two new ones in the works i'll put them up on screen now i've got a picture uh, so you can see those two new ones what are coming out shortly and then also you should be able to sell your um token soon so if you go into games here arcade and then you've got games and then you've got token logs and then you can see the tokens as well apparently you'll be able to like transfer them for loot boxes so uh, hopefully we'll get some more loot boxes with these as well and then we can just continue to grow the account and then buy like more kind of spark contracts and stuff as well um, and then like put the rest into granada hills so we will keep it in the game we don't plan to take it out and then keeping the market high i just believe everybody else can make a lot more upex as well even the people with windmills as well you know if energy is at a thousand it benefits everyone and then especially the new players coming into the game can just like go and treasure hunt and like acquire like what did we get today i think we got i'll put it up on screen again now so you can actually see but yeah nine energy and then like the lumber and the ore as well is just like really cool uh, to see that sold for about 15 16 thousand upex today and then we got about four five thousand upex in profit but i did notice the other day i got like 15 20 thousand upex profit and then i got 0 0.08 spark as well so obviously it balances out over the long run uh, but with tycoon and treasure hunting and the spark together you know it's worth about two hundred thousand upex so uh, really happy with that you know like keep growing and keep pushing it as much as we can and just continue to try and get this amount up to like we can definitely hit a quarter a million i think we can definitely get a little higher than that you know probably like close to 400 450,000 uh, by the end of the month and then we'll push up to 10 million as well uh, by buying some properties in granada hills getting some of those dollar properties off the market again and then try and get it down to about let's have a quick look at it overview right now there's only 302,000 properties left in the whole of 
Upland, which is amazing to see, the lower this number goes down, the more your secondary market properties will sell because if there's no more unminted properties left in the vicinity, there's more chance that they'll buy your property, you know. So right now there's like, what, over 700,000 properties, 740,000 properties or something um, on the market, you know, and then there's basically like 40% are unminted here as well on top. So once this number's gone, there's just more chance these will sell. So all the players, like, so it's good for the new players coming in, but once there's too many... Properties what are high, so it doesn't mean like they're all like cheap properties either. There's FSA properties, but if you think about this number, a lot of these properties now are like above 10, 12, 13,000. So it'll be cool to get these off the market, get this number down as much as possible, and then try and like see how that grows before a city release because. I guess with the totems coming out and all the prodom and everything right now, um, you won't be seeing a city release for a few weeks, or maybe they'll surprise you, don't know. Uh, but hopefully this number can get down to like 280,000, that would be really cool to see. And then the next city release, get it down to 250,000. LA starting to like mint out as well, it's so cool. Uh, watching LA over the last year, we've like believed in LA since day one. And just to see the growth of it now, to see like all the nodes performing and that the raceways, like all the businesses, it's so cool. And like I believe in like twenty twenty six, um, LA will be fully minted out, and there'll be so much business and the growth and that. Uh, we should have like close to like four thousand properties if we keep pushing at it. Uh, maybe five thousand, you know, selling off some upex because we need to start selling more properties as well. Uh, we might do some like kind of competitions, like if you buy a property, you get entered into the competition. You know, let me know what you think. Kind of good ideas that we could actually give away to the community, and especially the Granada Hills community as well. Like we can actually do some fun like exclusive giveaways as well, so we can try and grow the node and do incentives for that. Let's have a wee look at the time. So three minutes until these nodes come out. So that's cool. We'll look at Los Angeles actually quickly as well. 134,402 properties left in the whole of LA. So that's going down as well. And then we'll go to Granada Hills and we'll see where that is. 2,467 properties. Where is it here? So 2,467 left so this is really actually amazing to see we should be able to push that down under 2400 by payday and then we'll just buy by the end of january and then we'll buy a few more properties as well but hopefully by the end of like march we should be able to get that down to 2000 which will be amazing uh we've really like pushed there i think i jumped on granada hills when it had like eight or nine thousand properties um, left unminted so it's really cool to see actually that number go down now as well so uh, yeah we're really going to try and get these secondary market properties off as well I've seen there was one up for $5 now as well. I've just bought that 9,000 UPEX property as well, so the market will go back to 10,000. And then we'll get this like uh, secondary market up on the end of the month as well at payday. And then we will be able to hit the 10 million mark on Upland as well, because we're Tycoon right now on top of like... Um, still growing we earn about 140,000 just off yield a month so we'll still earn about 100,000 90,000 off that plus all the kind of like uh, treasure hunts and other stuff on the game uh, sends are up as well a lot of people realize that if you send to the property so like treasure hunting is always the best way to go like you'll get a lot more Upex and rewards treasure hunting, but if you don't want a treasure hunt, like um, you can go to obviously like different cities. I didn't make this clear on the last video. LA, the cheapest Upex send fee is 25 Upex. Uh, if you're in LA, it's great because all my properties are 25 Upex. Uh, if you visit them 80 times, you can actually get enough um, loot to sell between 10 to 15,000, 12 to 15,000 usually. So you can 5x your money. It's not financial advice, but a lot of players are actually jumping on. And same with any other properties at 25 Upex. And then if you go to other cities you'll obviously get them a lot cheaper as well like so you could get 10 upex sends and other stuff but i stay in la because like you get 0.02 spark plus you get higher uh you get 290 every single time as a minimum once you get the chest we hit every single chest so actually the 125 upex and then it goes up to 155 for each send so we usually do 20 so if you calculate that into the 290 we get for each chest that's why we stay in la because it's basically free to treasure hunt and then any Thing above 290 on the upx rewards is profit and then any sparks profit as well basically and then tycoon is just like a big bonus on top kind of like a nice bonus for the uh, the time treasure hunting 
uh, so that's like basically our strategy to move forward. So we plan to treasure hunt. We don't plan to like kind of like manipulate the market. We plan to like kind of stay with Tycoon and like grow the account. And I just believe like if you're using the right reasons and you're trying to grow up land at the same time, like all that money will just go straight back into properties and other stuff and like Granada Hills. So uh, it's not going to just get cashed out into something. So uh, yeah, really looks looking forward to that and seeing where Tycoon goes and the market. So uh, it's five o'clock now. So if we actually go. And we'll actually have a look quickly and see if this totem is actually, if there's, because I don't even actually know. I've looked for all the information, but like, don't think like, I'm, I'm not, I know all this because I don't know this. Your cycle is not yet activated. So let's go in there. Oh, here we go. Spend Prodom. Spend score. Available. So what do we do? Do we just put it? You can't put it all on, can you? Like, are you meant to put it all on? 555, like this is just straight into it, so I don't even, what if I put 111 on, because that's halfway through, but I guess like some of the sp curves are like below the mark, so I guess like you could actually lose Prodom at the start and then over time it builds up, I don't actually know, do we put more on, why is it score like that, do we put a fifth on? I don't know. Yeah, we'll put a fifth on because they say there should be five cycles, I guess. Pro tips try spending less prodom next time. There? Right. How do I activate? Ah. Palm tree, allow trade offers. So if I go back into it now, right, I'm even more confused than when I read through it. In cycle, end in 30 days. So, so do I say spend program? So now what? Do I go out of this now? And then how much program do I have left? Is it down at 444? Ah, so it's actually gone on. So now I don't... Wait, so now I've got... So I've put 111 on. Let's go back to it again quickly. Where's assets? Let's see what's actually going on. So, map assets. Can't believe the prodoms, uh, totems are out though. So this is amazing. Been waiting a long time for this. Um, so looking forward to seeing what actually happens. But I don't actually know what's going on. I guess you can just feed it whenever you want to then as well. You just keep feeding it. But I guess... You have to feed it on the right cycle, but do I keep just do I just keep looking at this bar? That bar's green. Is that green? Does that mean it's So I guess when it's red you don't feed it, when it's green you feed it. Um trades. Spend history. Does I guess you get a message if you earn some prodom? Sorry guys, I'm meant to uh, know more, but I don't actually have a clue what's going on right now, I'll be honest. <laughs> on XJ Ah, so that's cool, I've never seen that. I guess that's been there for a while, but so four four four, so how do I know if I've earned and imagine I've got one totem. I don't know what's going on. Imagine if you've got like some people have got like a hundred and that, and like fifty and twenty of them, and that's it. Uh, yeah, we're fed it anyway. So hopefully now it does something. Let's go back over to map assets. I guess it's not going to give me anything else. Spend prodom. Yeah, so now we've spent a prodom. Let's go actually on Twitter and see if there's any um, any information. Okay, so let's go back to let's see. Let's go on Discord. 
Let's see if there's anything about the totems yet. Uh, let's say anyone. No. Let's actually ask the community. Let's. How much did. How much pro term did you put on your totem? Oh, let's see. Let's see if we get a reply on that because I want to actually see. What's going on? Because I want to actually see if we can actually go over. Where's it gone again? So we'll go back to here, yeah, upland. Cycle ends in 30 days. So in 30 days, do you lose your totem as well? Do you get to keep your totem? Do you just keep feeding it forever? Like, that's what's the question. Exciting news. The number of mints that remain on the blockchain, this number of changes when other mints are burned or merged. Remaining mints available when adding items to the production queue to be manufactured, you must select the amount to mint. Minting ends. Each item. What? I'm not minting anything. One of a kind. Why? Well, oh, mine's one of a kind. What's that mean? Does that does that mean it's a rare one? One of a kind. Well, oh wait, a mint one of one. But everyone's is a one of one in it. Does that mean it's... No, it's not a rare one, is it? I thought mine was just a normal one. Can someone let me know down in the comments if this totem's actually... any good or not? It's one of a kind, like... But they're all one of a kind, I thought. And where do I see when I get... pro -dum? Ah, totem life cycles, here we go. Perfect timing. <laughs> Right, let's have a wee look at this. Embarking on the first totem cycles. As the final totems have been sold... Ah no, we've already read through this on the last one. The journey of each totem begins with the activation and the spending cycle. At the start of the cycle, players have a crucial 5 day window to make their initial spend and activate their totem. This period is key. If you don't activate your totem, these within these 5 days it remains inactive for the entire 30 day cycle. Oh yeah, we get the badge as well because we actually like um, we get the Proton Pioneer badge because we actually like activated it within the first twenty four hours. So make sure you activate your totem uh, during the initial phase. If a totem hasn't been activate hasn't been activated, it status will display in cycle not yet activated. However, once you activate your totem, the status updates letting you track the remaining days of the thirty day cycle. If you don't see the status update, reload the page and it should pop up. Earning cycle upon activation with your first spend, your totem enters its 30 day earning cycle. This rewards you acquire during this period, depending on how you manage your spend following your totem's unique earning curve. Every totem operates on a 30 day cycle, which starts when the player activates it. Get instead to begin nurturing your totem, you will need to feed it by spending Prodom on it. To feed your totem, access it on the full NFT screen. Click on the green spend protem button and enter the amount of protem you wish to spend. Remember, once spent, protem cannot be recovered. Your totem will generate protem in return over a span of its entire cycle. The goal with totems is to maximize the amount of protem returned from the spends. To process involves fine tuning the quantity and frequency of your protem feeds to align with the distinct characteristics of each totem. When you make your first protom spend, you will receive hints to help you maximise returns. Ah, when you make your first protom spend. So, for example, spending too little protom will trigger a try spending more next time prompt. Ah, prompt. If you overspend, you'll be notified that you're not spending efficiently and spending too frequently will prompt a warning to adjust your frequency. Ah, so it'll actually help you out and it'll actually show you, sir. That's cool. So now we actually, so you can feed it as much as you want at certain times. And I guess when the curve goes up, you want to feed it the most. And when the curve's down, you don't feed it as much. But like that could be like totally sharp step. Yeah, these are all the different ones. Collection cap penalties, misspend penalties. So I guess, how do you know when you need to go feed it again though? 
I guess you just go over, uh, where is it gone again, assets, and then I guess we actually just keep checking on it. But if this is still... Total minted, existing mints, remaining mints. So spend prodom. Spend score 100. Ah, so that means I'm doing good. So now... Does that mean I feed it again? No, surely not. So do I just... I guess I'll leave it now as well. Ah, we'll find out. We'll go back to Discord, see if anyone's replied to that yet. No, everyone will be still engaged with the actual uh, totems. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll see tomorrow what actually happens. We'll leave it overnight tonight and then see if we've actually earned any prodom off it and other stuff as well. Uh, we'll be treasure hunting again tomorrow. I've used all my visits again today. Uh, got the account up to 125 just under so we'll continue doing that and then we'll be able to do some really good fun like uh, start to look at Granada Hills and other stuff as well and start building more structures like using loads of the contracts on Spark Exchange as well uh, so really excited for that the Prodoms just obviously drop with the Totems and then also like everything with Tycoon so there's a lot going on now in the game of Upland so I hope everybody's having a good time enjoying it uh, we've just got monetized now on YouTube as well so we've hit the 3000 watch hours so thank you so much for that guys really do appreciate that uh, for all the support and the videos and that the video I posted the other day has been my biggest video on this channel so thank you so much for subscribing and watching the videos it truly does uh, help this channel grow to the next level so appreciate that 2024 we're going to like really push this account we're going to drive for a thousand subscribers subscribers and really push this content to the next level guys so let's get stuck into it let's grow our accounts together and let's have a really good time on uplands so uh, yeah that's basically i wanted to jump on with the totems i thought there'd be more of kind of like uh, an active kind of bar where you could see and then it'll like come back in 12 hours or like a timer or something but i guess not we'll go back to assets and see so, like basically we just need to come back here i guess I guess it, it might notify you that you need to go feed it, but I've got a hundred spend score still, so how much I'm not gonna spend this, but I wanna see if this actually affects the spend score. So I don't wanna put any more on because that's gotta last me thirty days. And we've already used a fifth, so as long as we put like Every six days, I guess, we put 111. Not too sure. We'll find out, though. But, yeah, I wanted to jump on for that video, guys. I'll leave it at that. Really, we just wanted to talk about the totems. And, um, yeah, hopefully, like, they get excited and there's more stuff to do with them and that. Looking forward to that. Um, I don't know when to, like, to jump on, so let me know in the comments if you know. Uh, so we can actually go and feed it again and stuff. I know everyone's curve's different and no one has a clue, so... Yeah, this will be really interesting to figure out, but we will figure it out together on this channel. Uh, we always do, so yeah, looking forward to that. Seeing how far we can grow as well. I really do believe now with Tycoon and everything going on, we can hit like 20 million. Hopefully 25 million by the end of the year, but like definitely 20 million. Uh, we'll invest like hopefully like $500 every single month going forward. And then also with Tycoon, we can hit a heavy amount on that, close to like 500,000 upex hopefully, depending on the markets and stuff as well. And then Sparks going up as well. So, and then once we hit 10 million, we'll get a 1.2 on top of that. So yeah, we'll really start pushing the account this year as well, really trying to do a lot more. And then with the factory and also with the racetrack as well, we can actually start to build some like revenue streams up and just really grow this account to the next level and then with youtube once we're monetized as well we'll just put every single penny back into this game as well and we'll share the whole process behind the scenes how we do all these videos and other stuff as well so click that subscribe button if you're not already and jump on for tomorrow's video and i'll see you tomorrow guys metaverse melon peace